Till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah No, I don't wanna waste what's left And Hey, what's up guys? Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, it's been a long time I haven't made a video uh, because I was busy with my research paper. So today I get a chance, so I'm here with you guys. Guys, in this video I will share some information related to the to mobile application which you can use in China. Whether you have Android phone or whether you have a, uh, iPhone, you can use with both of these phones but you need to know about this application guys uh, keep in the video i will share all the stuff all the important application uh, you need to know uh, about the china before coming to china and this video is uh, useful for the newcomer who want to come to china um, guys if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel like my videos share my channel and press the bell icon button to get the notification of a new video okay guys let's start our video Create a song. I don't miss a beat. guys uh, so the first and the most important application you need to have in your phone is vpn if you are coming to china you need to have a vpn because without vpn you will not access the google you will not access the facebook you will not use Instagram so it's must and the most important thing application you need to have a VPN guys the second and the most important application you need to have in your phone is Google Translator because once you arrive to China you will face a problem of communication because most of the Chinese can't speak English very well so it's important you need to have a Google Translator to communicate with the Chinese people. Okay, second thing, second application, Google Translator. Okay guys, so the third and the most important application you need to have in your phone is Plico. It's kind of a dictionary. Uh, if you guys are staying for a long time or if you are a student, uh, so this application are for useful for those people because you can find easily a different kind of word and you can you even write a word in Chinese too and you can get the English uh, meaning of the Chinese word. So the third and the most important application you need to have is Plico. <laughs> Guys, the fourth application you need to have when you are staying in China is WeChat. It's a it's a social application. It's a kind of an Instagram of China. It's kind of a Facebook of China. So it's very popular here in China. And most importantly, with this application, you can uh, pay. You can pay the bill. And if you are buying some stuff from the mart, and you can just use the QR code. Uh, to pay the bill, the application uh, you can use very commonly in China. So the fourth application, WeChat. We'll go the fifth application, uh, which is also very common in China, is uh, you can use this application for shopping or for paying something, buy some stuff and you can use this application to pay the bill of the stuff and this most important application name is alipay which is uh, normally also used in some other country like malaysia or maybe some other country in thailand but it's mostly commonly used in china too uh, so the fifth application alipay Okay guys, so the sixth application is about the transportation. There are different kind of transportation service in all over China. Like uh, subway, you can use subway when you are traveling inside the city. You can also uh, use train if you are uh, moving to different cities. But if you are staying in a city, 
if you are in a hurry you need to have the application called Didi which is very common in China and you must have this application if you are going uh, to your place or to your work uh, quickly so this application is important for those people and you can easily uh, travel inside the city with this application the sixth application is Teddy <laughs> okay guys uh, the seventh application you need to have in your phone is metro man uh, it's kind of application uh, where you can know about the subway lines and you can also know about the map of the subway line and you can know about the different kind of lines like in my case before i was living in jinan in jinan there was at that time there was no subway line but when I came to Guangzhou, in Guangzhou there are almost 17 lines. So I can use this application and I can know which station I need to go and I can easily go while using this metro man. And you can find the place very well and you can know which line or which uh, uh, station you need to go. Okay, seven application is metro man. Okay guys, uh, the eighth application you need to have in your phone is uh, map. Uh, like there are two kind of map. One is called Bidu map and the other is for iPhone uh, user which they can use uh, Apple map which is like uh, by default. If you have iPhone, uh, you need, don't need to install but they have by default. But if you are using the uh, Android phone, you need to have a Bidu map so with this application uh, you can find the place or where uh, you can search the map uh, I am using iPhone I'm using the uh, Apple map and it's very convenient to go to the place where I want to go so the eighth application is about bad map Okay guys, the ninth application which I am talking is Meetwan. Meetwan is a food application where you can order delicious Chinese food, Western food or even fast food you can order easily. And this is kind of application which is popular for ordering the food in China. Remember the ninth one, Meetwan. <laughs> Okay guys, uh, the last one and the 10th one application you need to have is Taobao. This is kind of a shopping application where you can do online shopping from your home. And you can sell different kind, you can buy shirts, you can buy shoes, you can buy electronic stuff and uh, some electro uh, electrical stuff. So I think you can find different kind of stuff in this uh, application this is the most popular and common application people use to do shop online with this application okay guys the last one in the 10th one is Taobao okay guys so these are the top 10 application which I share with you guys and I hope this video is informative and useful for those people or for those uh, who are come want to come or who are planning to come to China uh, for their studies or for staying or for work uh, they should know about these top 10 application okay, so if you still haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel like my videos and press the bell icon button to get the notification of a new video okay guys see you in the next video bye bye to my shadow, to the sun rays, and on and on we'll go to the wastelands, to the highways, and on.